In a motion he titled, Alami rise in cases of alleged human rights violations and consistent assault on the provisions of the 1999 constitution by the executive. The senator representing Niger East, David Umaru, alleged that the executive has not only consistently violated the fundamental rights of Nigerian citizens, but also infringed on the constitution in several ways. He cited the continuous detention of the former National Security Advisor, Colonel Sambo Dasuki, for over two years in total disregard of over four court orders. Recent enactment and controversial, uh, of the controversial Executive Order No. 6 as an executive legislation which permits security agencies to freeze the assets of persons standing trial without recourse to court order. Several other executive orders uh, have also effectively usurped legislative and judicial powers of the National Assembly. Deputy Leader of the Senate, Bala Ibn Nahala, however faulted some contents of the motion, saying it is prejudicial, citing cases of El Zazaki and Dasuki, which are still in court. This Honorable Chamber will take judicial notice of the fact that the issue of uh, Sambo Dasuki is in court. The issue of uh, El Zaki is equally in court. Deputy Senate President Ike Ekwerumadu, who presided over plenary, says issues of human rights violations was the focus of deliberations. We are not discussing the issue of um, um, the matter in court between the government and uh, Dasuki. We are representative of the people and uh, we can discuss matters such as this, especially that things that are in general nature, such as rule of law. Despite Ekwerumadu's position on the motion, it still caused a split among lawmakers. The issue of the Suki is for the court of the land. And what are we talking about? Are these matters not the court of the land? They are. And why, shall, why should we discuss them here? We don't, we don't need to discuss these facts, I mean these issues here. Except if you want to influence what is happening in the courts. The spirit of this motion, to me, to be brief, I regard it really is a first salvo, in a first salvo, again, first salvo in an attempt by the opposition and their supporters to discredit this government yes. Yes. and to bring yes. it to this record. Yes. This motion should appeal to conscience of all democrats in Nigeria that the government can do better by respecting the rule of law. Democracy is dying in Nigeria and this is how it starts. It starts with the election. It doesn't start with somebody taking, it starts with an election and then the people gradually taking away your rights. It is those rights that are being taken away. If this hallowed chamber is now turned into an area where people can no longer speak their minds freely because of fear, the Senate, among other things, called on the federal government to desist from further violation of the sacred principle of the separation of power and adopt the rule of law as the guiding principle of government's action. Osawana May Bizubi, ITV News, Abuja.